Hi, right, what's going on everybody? So in today's session, I'm gonna be taking you through a hamstring dominant leg routine. I've changed up the location and went to a different gym called Asgard, which has got a lot of amazing leg equipment. So it was good to get a session in, sort of utilizing some different machines I've never used before. When it comes to legs, I prefer to split quads and hams into two separate sessions of the during the week, just to give them equal attention and also for the rest period. And also that way it allows me to kind of utilize a lot of other leg exercises as opposed to just your sort of traditional squat, leg press and whatnot. So yeah, it gives you a lot of extra variation. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first exercise of the routine was barbell straight leg deadlifts. Um, this week I kept my compound exercises between sort of 10 and 12 reps for four to five sets. I often alternate between dumbbell and barbell, but I just happened to go with barbell on this occasion. Um, I felt good, so I also played around with a few sets of sumo deads afterwards. I've never really done them, but they're not part of the routine I'm showing you in this video. But yeah, as you can see, to execute the movement properly, I'm slowly forcing my hips backwards with a slight bend in the knees and keeping a straight back at all times. This movement is all about the stretch, so although it's a deadlift, check your ego and feel the hamstrings work. The next exercise was the glute ham raise, and as you can probably tell by the first few reps, this is my first time using an actual glute ham raise machine, so it took me quite some time to figure it out. Um, very few gyms have this piece of equipment, so if you're fortunate enough, you should definitely be making the most of it. I also use a bar as more of a safety measure than anything, as there's no way in hell I could have used my hamstrings to pull myself back up a full stretch. But I was still made sure my hamstrings were working the most. And for those that don't have this machine but still want to do the exercise, I've also included a clip of me doing it in a rack so you can see how I've set it up. I normally do this exercise nearer the beginning of the routine as it's more challenging the first thing, so it's best to get the most out of the exercise whilst you're fresh. So next was the lying leg curl, which again, if you have this in your gym, I recommend you include it as part of every hamstring dominant routine for the sole reason that it's just a great way of isolating the hamstrings, um, similar way to a preacher curl for the biceps, machine preacher curl. One thing to note is that you should always keep your hips glued to the pad as if these start raising, it's likely that the weight is too heavy and tension starts getting placed elsewhere. So I aim for sort of 12 to 15 reps here with a minimum four second negative and solid contraction. Next was some form of hack squat, which was actually a really interesting machine, which I've only ever seen or used in this gym. Uh, the range of motion was almost like a pendulum, but it definitely hit areas of my legs in a different way because they ache for days after. And as this is a hamstring dominant workout, I placed my feet nice and wide and just traveled as deep as possible. So lastly for the hamstrings was the single leg press. Likewise with the previous exercise, I'm placing my feet as high on the platform as possible, which does slightly decrease the range of motion, but in turn gives a great stretch and places significant tension on the targeted area, which of course are the hamstrings. As the rep ranges in the workout so far have been between eight and 12, I'm upping this to between 10 and 20 reps over four sets with a drop set after the last set. So after hamstrings were done, I then went into calves. I only show one calf exercise during this routine, which was the seated calf raise, as I know their calf workouts are pretty dull to watch. I'll save you the boredom. 
of the record, I did seated calf raises with my toes angled inwards to work the outer portion of the calf, leg press calf raises with my toes angled outwards to work the inner calf, and then standing static contractions just to really burn them out to finish. So there we have it guys, that is the hamstring or posterior chain workout complete. And try it for yourself or follow it along if you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and subscribe for more.